Stealing shit today, man. How you like the mask, man? How y'all like the mask, man? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kales, or Kales on him. And we back with another bang. So look, y'all, man. I'm gonna go ahead and take this shit down, man. All right, so look, yo. So look, we got a whole, we got another reaction video. I told y'all I was coming out with more bangers and everything like that, man. So today, man, we got a little video, man. I seen Team Steel, Celebrity Chef, Guy Fieri, Lamborghini, that old dude, Ferrari. That's crazy, man. I mean, for real, for real. I remember watching this dude, he was going around, he be having that show. I can't remember what it's called, like where he be going around eating shit and everything like that. So I know he got bread, so it must be a nice little Lamborghini. A little like they caught it on tape. We finna go ahead and see what's going on with that, man. Make sure if y'all got any videos to react to, you make sure y'all leave it down in the comments, man. Make sure if y'all enjoyed the video, y'all like the video up, y'all subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and keep going. We're gonna keep make, keeping these uploads coming up, man. I got y'all, I'm gonna try to drop. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't gonna make no promises, but we're gonna keep going and dropping these bangers, man. So let's go ahead and get straight to the vid, man. Uh, go ahead, let's start. Sway dropped out of Marine's Redwood High School before the end of his freshman year, but he sure did his homework before pulling off his crimes. Greg worked the case for the Marine. He sure did his homework. I walked right here. into the thing. Where is he at? Hey. Greg Garrett worked the case for the Marine County Sheriff's Office. I've never had a, uh, a a crime like this that was so sophisticated by such a young person. Among the sophisticated? hundreds of pieces of evidence I inspected, it looked like he just walked into that motherfucker and just tried to take it. 18 years old at the time, he googled Lamborghinis, how to jam the auto theft prevention system lojack, and lock picking. Hey, he's he's a little more sophisticated than me because I wouldn't have took all that effort, man. I would have just hoped the keys and that. Practicing less than two weeks before the car heist. That nigga was practicing two weeks before. Yeah, he had boss. He already knew what he wanted. I ain't even gonna lie. He was plotting. Like he already knew exactly what this nigga wanted. Here we go. He researched British motor cars in San Francisco and Mission Impossible style repelling. That's exactly what he did at the dealer early morning, March third, two thousand eleven. These crimes. Yo, he planned this bitch a couple days in a way, like. Garage. Surveillance video obtained by the I team catches the rope falling to the ground. <laughs> Weight scales down. Yo, how far up was that, yo? These crime scene photos show how he tied off a rope on the rooftop garage. Yo, he tied the bitch off. So he already knew. Yeah, he had, he had his shit right in the way. He already knew. Like, this thing is 16 years old. Where he learned? Or, like, he just been. YouTube teach a lot of things. YouTube teach a hella shit nowadays. Like you, you can like certain shit you can't let nobody see. Like, and also like you see all these little ass kids who are so fucked up trying to steal nigga shit. Like, like you know. But you know, back in the day, I remember them like they niggas wanted little shit. But niggas was taking candy. Niggas not taking no Lamborghinis. Like we already know what the business is with them. Like them the boys who who already got the got the got the got the pressure in the back. Like man, niggas don't fucking with them. 15 minutes one besides Wade has ever been arrested in the case. He walks to the exit door and cuts the lock with these bolt cutters. He drives the yellow Lamborghini from the second floor, down the ramp, and gets out to roll up the door. Back in the car, Wade appears to fumble with the controls, mistakenly turns Yeah, he got the jitters, but he got a whole little drunk, though. He got a whole little... I don't know what type of Lamborghini this is, but I know it ain't cheap, like... <laughs> it's crazy, like... It came into town at 4.40 that morning with Chef Guy Fieri's Guy Toro plates and it left him running. Oh, so that's how they knew it was his shit. It was his plates. And it left him run at 6.13 with stolen plates. It's amazing. Oh, this happened. And, uh, you know, some of this, some of this stuff was, was definitely the work of a, you know, very sophisticated, uh, How old was that then? Other things seem like yeah. they were changed. Okay, we don't, we don't In the matter. that followed, Wade's text messages show he sold fake IDs to high school students, sometimes at $500 each, and he dabbled in dealing marijuana. He couldn't help but tell friends about the heist he pulled off, even sending selfies inside the car. That's where you fucked up, man. I love my life. You just can't. <laughs> 
Well, you cannot do that. Like, that's the first thing you do. you going to put it on social media. That's where you fucked up at, man. Social media is the quickest way. That's the first thing they're going to look up. Like, God damn. That social media got everybody on block. Like, you, niggas is telling themselves, so, like, we probably ain't know no better though. Obviously, he's 17 years so. old. When you're 17, San Francisco police got a tip. Wade had the car, interviewed him, but couldn't make a case. I think it was sort of the gossip around. Sometimes drove the car, and its owner, Guy Fieri, often got reports of sightings. We would get calls all the time, and I mean all the time. I had friends call me and say, "Listen, I just saw your car on the freeway." And I'm like, "Believe it or not, there's more than one." Yellow convertible Lamborghini, you know, probably in Northern California. That man don't give no fucks for real. That's like he'd be pissed off, but he don't give no fucks. Nigga probably got some extra shit right, right in the back. And yeah, nigga got like two houses and everything, but I'm surprised he can get in that motherfucker though. Like, I'm really surprised he can get in that motherfucker, but you know what I'm saying, hey, I'm trying to get like, dude, yeah. Oh, we'd get reports, my attorney would hear about it. Well, to come find out, you know, that he was driving it. Brave kid. Wade finally got caught because of his fascination with a Terra Linda high school student, 17-year-old Eva Dedier. He texted a friend for advice. Should I straight up start sexting with her or be just be flirty with her? Wade texted Dedier. Be tripping. About getting her a <laughs> this nigga was a savage. I ain't even gonna lie. You're spending time into his pickup truck. Yo, this nigga was plotting a real, real deal jam, bro. For a high school bitch? God damn. Like, he wanted her at. This man crazy boy. Man, what y'all doing for that man? Y'all going ahead, y'all going ahead, go ahead. I said, is y'all going ahead and, and and about to jam up dude for a high school girl, man, your high school crush. Man, that was my thing though. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, that's really what that wasn't my thing. Uh, I don't really but I'm really in relationships like that no more though. I don't think so. Like real deal. Like, I won't they nobody. I won't put no girls either, love for real, for real, but you know. Sight nigga. Like fuck. And uh and the, the cyclist pulled out a, a pistol and started shooting at them. Wade fired five shots, fumbled and dropped the gun, allowing the couple to speed off. They stopped a few blocks away at Joe's Taco Lounge. Wallstrom was cut by flying glass, shaken but not seriously hurt. It was Wade's bad luck that the two detectives assigned to the case were motorcycle enthusiasts. They the closest re retail store was in San Francisco. The store found oh, yeah, he got caught up right, right there, man. That was nervous, the helmet man. and that black outfit the night before the shooting. Garrett couldn't find a current address for Max Wade, but a week later came the break. Wade contacted Eva Dedier again about getting her a fake ID and offered to pick her up in the Lamborghini. Garrett and a team of Bro, 10 this officers man was doing anything he wanted. I'm sitting there talking, I'm just like, damn, this ain't doing anything he wanted. One of the narcotics guys gets close enough to kick him. And is able to kick him in the upper chest and knock him to the ground. And he had a gun on his waistband? He had a, a loaded Glock 45 with uh, approximately 50 rounds of ammunition in a separate magazine. 50 Garrett rounds? Garrett says Wade struggled to reach his gun, but it was stuck under the t-shirt he wore beneath his pea coat. The detectives opened Wade's storage locker to this side. Fieri's oh, Lamborghini man. squeezed inside. The Lamborghini sick up there, man. Got it up there. He got his ass. The helmet and gun. Man, come on, man. Compare your. Hey, look. That's the end of the video, bro. This man, go ahead. He just took a Lamborghini. He's about to jam up his girl, and he's about to kill his girl too. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Like he had. They both was in the car, like. Uh, he must have thought he got, you know what I'm saying? He thought he's part of phase or some shit like so. But look, that's the end of the video, bro. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video, man. If y'all got any ideas of any type of videos I should react to or drop below or music or whatever, leave it down below in the comments, man. And uh, we're still on their ass. We got more videos coming. It's Kales. Kales on them and we on their ass and we gone.